Welcome to Cooking with Miss O, and I have a friend here. Um, she works as a manager at the Panera Bread in Easley, South Carolina, and I have to go through Easley either way, if I'm coming to Greenville or going back to the Clemson Central area. So um, I stop in there and get pumpkin muffins and grilled chicken Caesar salads, and because uh, they use Springer Mountain chicken at um, Panera Bread. Yes. And um, so and today we're doing a Springer Mountain chicken. Chicken corn chata. That's right. And um, I met with her on Sunday after she was done with work and got to taste this, and it's excellent. And I love chicken corn chowder, and um, it, it's the best one I've had. So well, she's going to show you how she does this. Now, when you do this, how many people will it feed? Could this you? one will actually, this recipe will do at least 10 to 12 people. Okay. And if you need to, you can actually stretch it so it'll be for three days of a budget. Okay. Um, you can actually take it and freeze it. Um, I always, after a couple of days, I'm like, ah, okay, I'm done with soup, need to move on to something else. Yeah. Um, and this way you can always have it for later on. So, you know, busy moms, busy dads don't have time to cook. That's right. They can pull something out of the freezer. Oh, let's have chicken corn chowder for dinner tonight. That's good. And you um, used to weigh a lot more, didn't you? I did. Actually, I actually weighed 400 pounds, close to 400 pounds. And, and I don't weigh, I actually weigh 125. Um, and the reason, well, there's two reasons. Um, one was because I couldn't, I went to a park with my daughter and I couldn't play with her and I was winded and I was like this is ridiculous I need to change so I did I started eating healthier mm -hmm. um, I started making all of my food and I started portioning it so like a whole chicken breast would normally be this big I took it and cut it in half mm -hmm. same thing with a steak if you were to do um, if you go out to dinner you can do the same thing because you know right. they always make everything in bigger portions so mm -hmm. I always take half of it take half of it home the other half is for my dinner. And that's how I actually was able to lose all that weight. But one important thing was that you made your food by scratch. I did. And that's what made the difference, yes. didn't it? Yep. Yeah. And that's what we've learned that it just is healthier if you do fresh and you do stuff that hasn't been treated with so much. Now she has a lot of things here to show us, but the first thing she did um, was make her broth. Now tell us what you put in this broth and what what chicken you used for the broth? The Springer Mountain chicken. Um, I actually took that and put it in a regular stock pot. Uh -huh. And I added um, probably about half the pot of water mm -hmm. with, I did paprika. Was it this size pot? I actually use this as the pot. Okay. And then I just clean it so that way I can keep using the same pot. Okay. Um, and I used paprika and a little bit of uh, some other seasonings, some thyme, and some basil, a little bit of sage, salt and pepper, because I don't know about you, but my chicken's never seasoned, so. Um, and I put it all in the pot, ready to go. And I let so it sit there. So what made it this green? Was it the, show us what basil, you did these things. Huh? I did all of these, yeah. I have, in this broth. Yep, that's what's in our broth. They have the, the sage, and then they have the basil in there. Then I actually have, it's, it's a mix of different blends of seasonings. I have mm -hmm. garlic, dried garlic, dried onions, a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, and then this is actually the Pepe. organic paprika that I use. Okay. Um, and then the salt and pepper, of course. Um, and everything I got, you know, I, I get from Angles. So that way we have everything ready to go. Everything's always fresh. I never have to worry about anything. And notice that these are from these packs right here that you can get in the vegetable. Yes. And, yes, you can. And so that is even fresher than having it dry. Oh, yeah. And that gives and, it a I different mean, you flavor. And I mean, you know what you're putting in there. That's right. So. Yeah, that's right. And then your, your um, spices that are dried haven't been irradiated, and they're organic, so that's always better, too. Yes. Because when it's irradiated, if it's not organic, um, then it's irradiated and it has no nutrition in it at all. No. So, so what you are saying is you lost all that weight because you went from food, from processed food and, and yeah, eating I stopped, too much Actually, I stopped eating all fast food. So no more oh. Burger King, no more McDonald's. Nothing. And I started making everything at home. And, and, it was, and I would make lunches for my daughter. I'd make lunches for my husband. I'd make lunches for myself. You know, and, and working at Panera, I always went healthy. I always had their salads. 
Yeah. And now they're they're changing everything and making it clean. Even cleaner. Even cleaner than Because they were clean before and now they're even yes. cleaner more. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They just never stop trying to make it clean. No, do they that. don't. And Springer Mountain is the chicken they use. Yep. Yeah, because it's the cleanest chicken in the world, actually. They won the uh, American Humane Society Award, and I don't think that any other chicken kind in the world I has done that. I don't think they have that. either. So they're the best. And they, when you are cooking with it, it has no smell, does it? Mm -mm, and no. it's clear broth. It's delicious. It is, isn't it? I was Did you little know tidbits. that when they are getting ready to put chicken somewhere and they're going to do a, um, a house for them, they take the ground and test it if any chemicals have ever been on it, and if it is, they won't build there. Really? Yeah, is that not? Because it can That's come up awesome. through the bottom. And that is, they're pretty, they have great integrity and they really care about That's us. That's what I can't, well, that, it matters a lot. And, and a lot of the food industry is greedy and they don't really care about us. And that's why we get sick and we get too fat and we get too unhealthy, right? Yep. So my husband was an economics teacher, so he would... I actually heard out. about that. Yeah. So he would point all that out. <laughs> okay, now, what are you going to start with first? What are you going to put um, in first? Well, I'm going to start this. I'm going to turn this guy on. Okay. Um, and we're going to put him on about a medium. And what I do is I actually add all of my milk and cold products first. Mm -hmm. um, because I have the chicken stock already ready to go, I'm going to put a little bit of it in there with the milk and stuff. And then the other I'm going to actually put in with our vegetables that we're going now to cook. And you told me something Sunday about why you did the milk first. Explain well, that I to me. Well, I do them. the milk first. Any of the milk products, because it's already cold, if you start it and you try to temp it to put it in there, it starts to burn on the bottom of the pot. Um, and I don't, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't like scalded milk. No. no it doesn't no. taste very good. Um, and then it leaves that same residue taste in the bottom of your pan and in your soup. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that. No. So what I usually do is I'll take one of these half and halves. Mm -hmm. And that's Laura Lynn. That is Laura Lynn. Mm -hmm. Now the Laura Lynn milk, they get from their cows in North Carolina. And North Carolina doesn't use um, the different uh, chemicals in the cows that are done everywhere else. So oh, cool. that's why I tell people Laura Lynn is safe yep. with your milk. Yeah, otherwise, awesome. do organic. All right, I'm gonna pour that whole thing in there. This is one, this is a half a gallon of the half and half that you wanna do for that. Now people are gonna look at this and say, oh my gosh, this is very expensive. <laughs> but if you, it, but think of the amount you're getting. Exactly, this, you, can you actually can stretch a $40 budget and make it almost into like 15 bucks. Right. For each, right. And, and that's feeding, you know, you could feed probably four people, people out of this. Yeah. yeah. Um, from there, I'm also gonna take the sour cream. And I actually bought a bigger piece, but normally I only use a smaller one. I use half of it. And I take that and I put that in there. I love to cook. Did I tell you that? Yes, you told me. I do I too. Do. I love to cook. If I get stressed, I just go in and start cooking. I know, me too. That's it. You know what it is, though? It's I We must love... be stressed a lot because we're in the kitchen a lot. So. <laughs> I do. I do cook a lot. Yeah. Um, but you know what I love about cooking is what? when somebody comes up and says, that is probably the best thing I've eaten in a long time. And okay. I get a smile out of it. Whew, that makes my day. That's what I did to you on Sunday, um, didn't This I is not? actually, you did too. I know. This is two uh, cans of evaporated milk. Okay. I don't use regular milk because I've already got the half and half in there. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to break it up. Okay. Um, and then with that, I also put in the goat cheese and a block of cream cheese. Okay. So that's going to go in there too. And... And when you say a block, are you just talking about the rectangle? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yep. Um, and then what I do is I put all that in there so it'll start heating up, and it's going to be on a, on a medium to a low simmer. You want it to slowly come up to be heated. And what was the other cheese now? It's a goat cheese. I love goat cheese. where do you cheese. get the goat cheese from? I actually Does get Ingles goat cheese from Ingalls. They do have it. They have mm -hmm. it in little packages. They also have it in logs. Um, do you have to shred it? The other, uh, no, actually you can chunk it. Um, and then I actually just mix it together with the softened cream cheese, and then we're good to go. Okay, so you let the cream cheese get a little soft. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to take the corn. And you and didn't I drain use, it. I usually, I don't drain it. Okay. Because you want the flavor to go into the whole soup. So I take the whole thing. I do usually a full large bag of corn, frozen. Mm -hmm. um, some people don't like frozen. They can have you already cooked it then by the time you've cooked this, it? This, no. I actually have done it. I let it just sit out so it would thaw. Um, so it would actually just... And that's where the water the, comes that's from? That's where all the water's coming okay. from. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then last but not least, I'm going to put in 
It's a block and a half of medium cheddar cheese. Wow. Yeah. So, and then it sounds like a lot of cheese. So it sounds like a sharp, lot of milk. A it's lot medium. of medium. Yeah, it's right. medium. Um, and it sounds like a lot, but believe it or not, it actually marries everything together mm -hmm. so well. You won't even know that you're eating all that cheese. I, I couldn't. I didn't even know it till you told me. <laughs> when you said that, remember after I tried it? I know you were like, "What is this? What is yeah. this?" Now, something I'm missing here. What you missing? Where's your green peppers and the red oh, peppers? Oh, those and I have to cut, and we're gonna saute those up oh, in a minute. Oh, good. And we are gonna go to a break right now. We'll be right back. Thank you. Slowly rising across the hill. Chrissy, I usually at the beginning do my verse, yeah. so I'm going to just read it now. And this first one, the reason I picked it, reminded me of how you and the people at Panera have been to me since I've become a widow. Oh, that's awesome. As God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3.12. Um, I also want to say Thomas Brownie said, by compassion, we make others' misery our own. And so by relieving them, we relieve ourselves also. And when I read that, I read it a couple times, and I thought, that's exactly what y'all have done to me. And that's why I send widows to y'all all the time, because it's really hard to eat after you lose your husband, because you have nobody to cook for. Yeah. And, and, and you, you know a little bit about this, too, because you've lost a husband. And it's just hard. Uh, either way, whether it's a divorce or whether it's a, um, a death, and um, my mom's was a divorce and mine was a death. And it's just hard to do the regular normal things. It is. And so I knew I could get healthy food at Panera. When I go in there, they hug me. They hmm. always say hi to me. They ask me how I'm doing. They ask Wait, about uh, my grandbabies. Uh, exactly. We yes. always want to hear about that. Yes. That's like the best part of my day. And well, that and I get to make you food, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're really wonderful. And sometimes they just, they just even have sat down and eaten with me. And I really appreciate that, too, because you come in there and it's cheerful. Yes. And the food is healthy, and you don't go away feeling bad that you ate this. That's right. And that's the wonderful part. So, now, you're sautéing this. So I tell am sautéing. I'm actually sautéing the basil and the sage with the um, cayenne pepper. Okay. And that little bit of the mixed spices that I have. And show and then what you have in here. These are, all, these are all the red, the green, and an orange pepper that I've done. I've also done a red onion and a white onion. I, I always like the two flavors because it's really, you want to have your balance of sweet and little, you know, not so sweet. And you're right, and I want to say something else too. Both of these onions have different um, nutritional values. All three of those peppers have three different nutritional values. Yeah. So, and with, you know, I just put in a little bit of butter. I take uh, mm -hmm. an actual stick. I usually tell everybody, prepare at least two sticks of butter. Do one, take it and cut it in half. And then that way you can have it in here and you can saute all your vegetables and everything because you want everything to marry each other. And remember, she is doing a massive amount. So two sticks of butter sounds really a lot. You could actually take the recipe and up, cut it in half. Yeah, yeah or definitely. cut it in fours if you, you had could, to, right? You could if you needed to, yeah. Yes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. Um, I actually have potatoes that we did. Um, I mashed them up, made potatoes the other night. Uh -huh. So I'm going to put that in. And talk about your potatoes. Oh, we talked about our that. potatoes. I love Yukon Golds. Yes. Um, I've always liked them because they have a nice butter taste to them, mm -hmm. and Indeed. they make a soup. Man, if you want to thicken up a soup, use a Yukon Gold, and you are ready to go. It's so good. Um, so what I did was I had actually had mashed potatoes last night. So what I'm going to take is I took the extra mashed potatoes and just put them in a container, so that way I could add it to my soup. Now, why would you do that? Because it does what to it. It thickens it, doesn't it? It does Isn't thicken it, yeah. Me? But yes. it, it's not only that. I mean, some people don't, they just can't go out and buy mashed potatoes. Yeah, You know, that's and right. if you've got some and you have some left over, mm -hmm. I, I'm all about reusing everything. That's right. If you have leftover chicken, that's if you have you leftover peppers. I've good... even done this with fajita peppers. Really? Like doing a chicken fajita. Yeah. I've taken the chicken, put it in the pot, put it in with a fajita. It's awesome. Real good. It has a little extra it, kick to it. I bet it does. But and I bet the guys like that. Don't <laughs> yeah. But so. it's awesome because I always want to reuse everything. Because you know you can cook the same thing over and over. Yeah. 
But you know what? If I can use anything as a leftover, I'm good to go. Well, I find out that I make new recipes by leftover stuff. Is yes, that what you do? Definitely. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. So while this is um, sauteing, I'm going to actually add the rest of the chicken stock that okay. we have. We put some in the pot with the milk, so yeah. that way it's going to incorporate it. And now I'm taking this and I'm adding the rest of it. Now what it does, it brings the temperature back down again, which is good. Uh huh. Um, because your milk, I can tell you right now, is not ready to go. If I could touch the bottom of the pot, you're, you're, he's still a little cold. Too cold. Yeah. So that's good that that brought that down because what you're going to do is you're going to... Smells gonna, wonderful, y'all. You're going to incorporate that into here now. Now another thing I wanted to ask you if you find this to be true. When I do this as compared to the dry spices, it's a whole different taste. It is a whole and different you, taste. And you would think that Completely. it's a whole different smell, whole yep. different taste and everything. It is. And actually, it's really, um, when we do the dried, it's stronger than this, yes. I think. Do yeah. you agree? You have to use less of it if you do yes. dry. So then while well, this is in here, now you're going to pour all this in here. So now you got one pot. One pot of love. <laughs> all right. Now, if you have all that done, you're going to turn, obviously, this guy off because I really don't want to cook everything today. Oh, sorry about that. That was, that was a little bang. It's all um, right. I'm also going to take the Springer Mountain Chicken. And what I do is, I actually had it set aside, and what I do is I actually take it and I shred it. Tell us which Spring Mountain Chicken did you get the individually wrapped? I got the individually wrapped, um, the breast pieces. Uh-huh. Um, and I actually, you know, depending on how much chicken you guys want in it, you, you can do a whole bag, you can do five bags. It just what did you do for this? I actually did two bags. Two bags. Yep. So that's just 12 Just because I breasts. really, I mean, if I'm going to I want some, chicken. I want some chicken And in I chicken. love that it had a lot of chicken. Yeah. I like the way you shred it, too, because and it was I really easy to And I shred this all by hand, because everything, I mean, it's because it's been done in the pot, and it's already been boiled so that you have your chicken broth. It's loose enough. All you got to do is just take it and shred it with your hands. And that's the done. chicken broth from those 12 that you've done here. Yeah. Did you put all that chicken broth from those 12 in here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I didn't know if you put some up. Okay. For a side, because she's got peppers in there and all, we need a few little vegetables. So we have our organic carrots and celery that we buy at Ingles. And celery goes real good with chicken. And the carrots are pretty. <laughs> so, now, this right here, I would put it in a bag, put it in my refrigerator and save it because it's good in stock for soup. You can actually use that in a marinpois. When you do your, you got your celery, your onions, and your uh -huh. carrots, and you can do it for a base for a, a soup stock. Yeah. That's what I do. Yep. Yes, definitely. Yes. And here, I just made a mess. Stephanie's <laughs> so good to put the bowl out here for me, and I just made a mess. And then we're going to do some little baby tomatoes that we get at um, Ingles. And in the winter and fall like this, we don't get the pretty, you know, the tomatoes that are off the vines and stuff. And so these really taste good in salads and all. And I use these during, or the Romas in the winter. Now I'm going to, and if you've got kids in the house, this is a real easy thing for them to learn to do. And, um, and then they feel like they're cooking with you. That's a good way to help them start cooking. And your daughter cooks with you, doesn't she? She does. She, uh, she and cracks me up. Mom, what are we going to do next? Okay, so this is how I do this. And my son the other day made a um, grilled pork um, sandwich off yep. the grill oh. Oh, and made up Were his they... own recipe for the seasoning and all. It was fabulous. Nice. And I'm not a pork person, so yeah, um, yeah I was really surprised. He said, Mommy, I'll try this, and I did. Okay, now all I'm going to do is cut these celery sticks in half and then cut them one more time. Now you can do it either way. You can do it on the side that way, or for kids, it might be easier to do it this way. And then, if it's a real thick one, you can do it even in smaller ones too. Now, have you got everything put in there that you need? I you actually just did the last thing. What's I that? put in my potatoes. I put the other part of my Yukon Gold. The ones that you had made in little cubes, right? Mm -hmm. I did. Um, and I put salt and pepper. And I put the chicken all in. Now I'm just going to keep stirring it, and I'm going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes, just so that all the flavors kind of marry into each other. OK. Um, and then what I usually do from there is I will take a little spoon and taste it, because not everybody's tastes are the same. Well, so I try to make sure that 
In just a minute, we're going to break to a commercial, and then we can taste it when we put it in the bowls. How about that? It's awesome. Okay, and I've got to finish up these carrots, and we're going to plate this. Thank you. Welcome back, y'all. We just cut the bread. That's my whole wheat bread. I can't wait to try uh, that. And then we're having just some vegetables around that yep. are just a little bit different, so we have a little bit uh, more nutrition with exactly. that, too. So, yeah. And raw is good, too. And she always tastes before she... Um, yeah, it's always good to taste your food because you want to make sure if you need to add anything or if you need to, you know, maybe tone something down. Um, I always add a little bit of salt, add a little bit of pepper, but I actually just take a little spoon and go right off the top because everything is already cooked in here, so you know you're not going to get sick or anything, so. Is mm. it ready? It's super buttery. It's super delicious. It's super good, huh? Yeah. It doesn't even need any here. more salt and pepper. <laughs> let's go ahead over here and let's pray. Okay. Dear Lord, we just ask you to bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies, and thank you for letting Christy come on with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yes. Okay, you your mind is going to be blown. <laughs> it was the other <laughs> night. Oh, my goodness. Now, she is a caterer, too, and so if you would like catering, we've put all the information up on the screen for you, and um, thanks for coming, Christy. We really enjoyed this. You are very welcome. Anytime. Now, now I... I since I, it's my show, I get to keep this whole pot right. You, um, can I have the pot back? Yeah, you can have the pot. Oh, okay. I just put stuff in the pot. <laughs> and I think a lot of the people here are going to eat it too when we're done. Yep. Let's see. That is amazing. That is so nice and so good. It's nice and rich. It is. I just want to eat all the chicken. Now I want you to try my bread. Oh, yeah, I have to do that, definitely. Let me dip. I'm a dipper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am, too, actually. Got to dip. I should try it without a dipping, but I really want to I was going to do that, but I didn't think you would do that, so that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> what do you think? That's super good. I really, I mean, just bread with it alone mm -hmm. is good. Mm-hmm. Because you don't need too much. No, but you need a little bit of raw tea. You do. For nutrition. And these guys? Mm-hmm. All day, every day. It's real good. I hope y'all try this recipe. Her information is there. They can get in touch with you for the recipe. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. So um, we just want to thank you so much for watching again, Cooking with Miss O. And um, what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks is just soup meals like this. Because people have asked me, how can you do $50 in the winter? Yep. Um, for a week for a family of four and what my family did was Monday through Friday we did soup meals where we had salads and soups and different things like that and it was from leftovers a lot of yeah. it too and so this is the first of our soup meal the chicken corn chowder and so we've got four more to do that will be soup meals like that then the leftovers can be lunch and it can be lunches on Sunday night or on Saturday afternoon there you go do y'all do stuff like that we do Cuddle up on the couch, eat some soup, watch some, you know, watch some TV, play some video games. No. <laughs> Why are you eating soup? Yeah. That's good. I'm telling right there. Yes. No, but we actually usually play a lot of board games together. Do you really? I we love board games. Try to have a family games. night. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I like having my daughter cook with us, so that way we can. I don't blame you. Um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye. the hill